I could stay like this Forever following you Hi all, it's Kirsty from Madeline Country Cottage. I'm back again with you today to share a haul that I did on Boxing Day. I never got a chance to actually do the haul and I thought I would share it with you um, uh, today of all the things that I had, uh, had picked up um, at their huge sale they had on Boxing Day. So let's jump straight into it. Um, the first day that I actually went, um, I started, um, I ended up starting out with picking up some of these clear stickers, so, which I thought were quite cute actually. I'm thinking that I might use these in my new journal um, for, the love journal. I've got some scripted stamps, ephemera packs. This one's from Rose Avenue pack. This one's keepsake pack. And we have um, I brought uh, this one's here is embossing tool. Um, I actually bent mine, so I bought another one. We bought a paper creaser or a bone bone folder. Um, some more ephemera packs. This one's from the Romantic Collection. And these were all 50% uh, off. And some were 70% off. Um, these are metal drawer knobs. I thought they were perfect that I could use as um, journal, journal seals. And I'll just put a whole heap here. Um, we've got some more stamps um, from the Rose Avenue collection, um, the Velvet uh, Symbols collection, and the Madame Boutique collection. This is so pretty, I love that. Um, from the High Tea, we have some more um, ephemera pieces. Um, another stamp, which is of some little roses, which is really gorgeous. Um, some die cuts for Christmas time um, of some holly and we have um, the cherry blossom you know what I should move this out of the way yeah. so that way I could sort of put them in their piles um, this is a, an embossing plate um, we have some stencils of some foliage we have another stencil of a blooms another embossing plate um with that one actually where's the i can't actually see oh so yeah it's an embossing plate um another ephemera pack cherry tree lane um some words which i thought were quite nice um embossing plate as well so we do the stickers in the ephemera packs. Let's get them quickly in their in their piles. Right. And now what else have we got? Um I bought another um die release tool, but I use this to poke in to make the holes so that I can sew my journals. Um so that's that one. And then I grabbed a bunch of washi, um, washi, 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 kind of reminds me of a retro sort of look. We have some dice, uh, we have some butterflies, uh, we have like almost like a candy stripe, and we have polka dots, um, these two have some words. I think it's just Monday through to Friday or Monday through to, could be Monday through to Sunday. And then we have um, some beautiful words um, on those ones. And we have some, at in, the same in red. Uh, actually, yeah, it's in red. Um, and then of course, some more butterflies. So that's those. And then of course they had um, some of the 
the twigs and berry collection packs these were only two dollars which i thought was pretty awesome um turtle and dove this one was also two dollars yeah so it's got some beautiful image uh, beautiful papers in those so and then i've bought some christmas ones the mint twist um they're pretty cute um let's see and then these fold these were actually marked down to ten dollars um, all the different Christmas paper. I thought these are, you know, stocking up for, for next year. Um, and then there's this one, which is Home for Christmas. I just love this one here. And some of the little wordy ones in that, and the foliage. That was pretty cute. And then there was this one, um, Yuletide. I think, I oh, see, I think these ones were from maybe perhaps from a couple of years ago. I'm not a hundred percent sure because they were totally different this year. So, but these, yeah, these are going to come in handy for next year. So that's the that particular baggie. And then I actually went back and I grabbed these ones for my new journals that I'll be creating this one's from the keepsake collection and um, let's see that's a beautiful 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 um, uh, what do you what would you call them little little flowers yeah so that I've got a couple of those and I just love the look of this rustic looking um, I guess it's layers, layer upon layer of paint. Uh, this is the cherry from the Cherry Lane collection. So that's those ones. That's just turned over so you can see. Um, this one here is from the Golden Dove collection. These are, are beautiful as well. That's the backing of this one. So that's really pretty. I really like that. And of course, there's this beautiful one from the Cherry Lane collection as well, which is obviously the, the back side of those. And I just love the color palette of those. So they will be used for other journals. Um, let's see what else did we get. Um, okay, I actually got these sticker books. I mean, these are in their new range. I'm pretty sure they're in their new range. Um, I can't remember how much I, they, these come down to. But I just love the actual stickers inside of these. You know, with them being round. It's very um, organic and bot uh, botanical. You know, love with the numbers. Oh, there's a couple of stickers missing. Um, yeah, so that's out of that collection. Oh, I've noticed there's a few stickers missing out of this one. Over a thousand stickers and yeah, it's really beautiful. They can be used for a planner. And then I got this. This was actually marked down, as I said, 50% off. So I grabbed these and they are so creamy. I tested them out before I tried them and they are really super creamy with the way that they they sketch got an array of colors yeah let's let's see if we can open this up and have a look inside yeah it was really 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 beautiful to to draw with so look at that aren't they pretty it's got a really creamy let's see if we can just grab one out and let's grab a piece of paper Sorry, I just knocked you about because I just knocked my head. <laughs> I'm a doofus sometimes. So it's just really, really creamy with the way that they, they go on paper. I think they would be gorgeous to to do a lot of, a lot of shading and, um, you know, light work or, you know, sort of colouring in, adding layers to your your um, page 
but yeah, they're really, really creamy and they feel really beautiful when they when they actually go on on paper. So that was that. And let's see what else. Now, um, I actually went back the following day because I'm actually uh, in one of the the journals that the things that I'm going to be making will have this kind of theme. So I went back and I grabbed myself um, the Australian collection, which is Australian ephemera, and of course the um, the gum leaves, and that's the same ephemera pack. And some these the more of the um, oh that's just some dots uh, spotty, and the other one's fern and gum leaves. Yep, and the stencils. And then I just thought these cards were just so delicious. I mean, just look how beautiful they are. They're just absolutely stunning. And I thought maybe perhaps to make these some front covers of some journals. I mean, they're just gift cards, but I just love the, the color palette of them. And I thought that could, that's a perfect thing to make um, as a collection. So those... I ended up getting um, I got the stone wall and the birch uh, in the um, stencils and then of course I got this other sticker pack um, because at the, on the day I couldn't decide which one I liked so and when I did go back um, I decided to get it because me being a blue girl I just absolutely love blue so I just thought I would pick this one up you know with the words kind of reminds me of that bohemian feel I might actually use them in some of the bohemian journals you know so that's pretty pretty cute yeah or I might just keep it for myself not a hundred percent sure with that one and of course there's another fancy star template or stencil that I had grabbed and Let's see, one bag, okay. third, third and last final bag in the Australian collection. The Australian collection is so adorable. I'm, I'm, I'm actually doing Australian journals where I'll be mixing up some of my eco dyed uh, fabrics, including the Australian um, collection um, of papers. You know, look at that. It's just of the gum gum tree trunks, and of course the our kookaburras. And then there's the um, the willow and gum trees behind, and bark. So those will be these will be sort of inserted throughout the actual journal. Um, but I'm going to try and keep it as eco towards the eco side as possible. And uh, this is just uh, some of the dried up mud, um, uh, the Australian mud, how it goes when it's sort of, you know, dried up and all the water's gone. And this beautiful outback Australian um, sunset. And of course, our good old corrugated iron, which I just, I don't know, I just absolutely love, love, love this particular paper. I ended up getting quite a few of those actually, I just realized. Thank you. Okay, so yes, yeah, so the corrugated iron, and then of course the flip side is the beautiful, another, I think this one's the uh, eucalyptus uh, leaves and gum leaves. So that's really beautiful, I really like that. Yeah. And then of course we've got soil again, like as if it's a dirt track. Um, and the flip side is, of course, the outback. Look deep into nature and you'll, you will understand everything better. Well, of course you will. And so that's that particular front and back. And then we've got more of the bark of a tree. And the flip side is of leather. Country Road, take me home to a place I belong, which is part of a song that we have. Here in Australia, again, we have some more of that, um, the willow and the bark. And yeah, so that's open road collection. 
this pretty much all the ones that I've showed you there and I've got and this is again I think this is the open yeah the open road as well these are these are thicker card and these are more on that thinner side and a bit more of the Australian native um, plants and I've shown you pretty much all of these ones that I have already and then of course there's uh, from the Golden uh, Grove collection I just thought that was quite beautiful um, I think it lends towards the color palette of these so that's why I actually grabbed a few of these ones as well and then of course the spots on the back and again from that Golden Grove I'll just turn that over so you can see uh, Grove collection is the beautiful these beautiful tiny little flowers or roses and I thought that was quite beautiful and of course it's got a green on the back of that one yeah so basically there is my whole collection of uh, Kayser Craft products that I had my Boxing Day exciting it was hard because it was like everybody was grabbing everything and it was hard to get in there um, you know to try and find the things that you wanted and yeah it was but it was a lot of fun it was fun trying to work out what I wanted and of course you know after what particular product uh, you know collection I wanted to do next for my my journals so sorry I'm just sort of putting them in order in such a way that you can actually see the front and the back oh, that one goes in here doesn't it so yeah so and that's pretty much it my friends so let's go a bit of a slow over Yep, so that's those. And that's pretty much my collection of all my products that I got for my Boxing Day haul. Um, actually, I might just uh, quickly open the Open Road uh, ephemera pack if I can. There it is. And show you what you actually get in this this particular one actually you know what I might do I'll just pop that to the side let's let's just take a take all this off and that way we can get see them quite clearly um so yeah so in all in all I think in the end uh, like with pretty much everything um, I got huge deals as I said it was the fact that uh, the fact that they were all marked down 50 and some were 70 percent off um, which brought the price right down which was unbelievable the only thing that I wish I had have grabbed was the um, uh, was like the you know like your um, what do you call it embossing machine or the the die cut machine because that was marked down half price and it wasn't the following day so I missed out on that um, and my my plates that go through are all broken so I'm just a little bit devo, devo about that oh isn't that cute little kookaburra and we got gum leaves yeah and we got the kangaroo crossing sign we got the waddle got some waddle we got adventure road trip travel diary again road trip and are we there yet which is a big saying that we say to you know the kids say to their parents um when we're on a long road trip and next stop some more kookaburras at different shapes so we've got some bottle brush and we've got uh, a pinpoint for the map hello travel i got lost in and you fill it in little australia wish you were here postcard that's super cute um destination unknown 
uh, fun on the open road another one of those little marks uh, it's the train sign and where next to oh sorry where to next and another airmail and we got a koala sign we've got the emu another one of those little map things and we've got the compass and we've got some little cute uh, eucalyptus leaves going exploring lot uh, let's get lost sign and a travel buddies oh look at that that's beautiful old map of Australia and we've got more wattle and we've got again mr. Skippy the bush kangaroo and again oh we've got a family of Skippies we've got the Australian flag and we've got an aeroplane and last but not least a welcome sign so yeah so they're really super cute aren't they anywho that's my entire collection collective haul on Kaiser craft um, on boxing day I hope you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and I will see you in my next video. Okay then, bye for now. Bye.